Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey's Crafts and today I'm just making just a quick video to answer a question I got there in the comments. It's just a bit easier. Um, someone uh, was asking me about um, when I'm trying to straighten sticks and how do I stop the uh, the, the bark from, from splitting when you're, you're straightening the sticks. And, um, you know, maybe like I'm just making a quick video response now. Like I'll try to do another one when I have more time where I can show you the stick and show you the whole process of going through it. But... Um, with most bends with blackthorn, they're pretty easy and straightforward to take out is because the, the bark on the blackthorn is actually pretty thick and the bark is really tightly attached to the wood. It's not like other woods where the bark kind of peels off and the, 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 the bark detaches. Now, it might detach a little bit around by the handle or something like that and then you just sand it down and you just get it to, to look look quite quite nice. But... um. Generally, black thorn bark stays put because it's actually quite um, thicker than, than other barks. And that's why you can kind of sand the bark and bring out quite a lot of colors on it because it's a, it's a thicker bark. But like sometimes you'll get a bend, um, like if I have an example here. No, I don't. But uh, if sometimes you get a bend that, that's really pronounced on a stick. And when you do try to, to straighten that a bit, the bark is going to, 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 to split because it's just the pressure of it um, straightening it's going to, to split a little bit so what you can usually do here is um you just, just put a little incision and this takes a bit of pressure off the bark so then when you're straightening the stick the the incision opens up but it it keeps the rest of the bark from splitting and 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 going off in two different strips and then simply what you do is when you've got your de desires kind of bend out uh, you just get some sawdust from the black torn and with wood glue and you mix the sawdust and wood glue together and then you just dab it over where you have the incision in the bark and it, it looks pretty much fine. It, it looks as if nothing has happened. And uh, that's how you would kind of get out uh, some of the, uh, the, the the bends without having um, uh, the, the bark split. And again, look, when I have more time now and the kids go back to school, um, I'll try to make more videos where I actually show you more of the process. It's just a lot of these videos, as you can see, is just me getting a few minutes here and there and just making like a quick, quick video. And, uh, you know, as soon as the, the kids go back to school after their six months off school now, I might have a bit more time to uh, to, to make some, uh, some some better videos in terms of letting you see as well the, the process more. OK, thanks for watching.